possible motive. A young boy who was pulled from an icy pool in Ferguson yesterday has died. We first reported this incident as breaking news yesterday on News 4 at 4. The boy fell into a pool at January Wabash Park, the city park in Ferguson. News 4's Emily Pritchard is live now at the park along Florissant Road. Claire, this is the icy pool that that 10 year old boy was pulled from by first responders yesterday afternoon, about 24 hours ago. And today we have he learned the heartbreaking news that that boy died at the hospital this morning. If you take a look here, this is the video from Tuesday afternoon as first responders came here after someone called 911 and Ferguson officer Jamez Knighton actually climbed the fence, which is about six feet tall and jumped in that freezing cold water to save the boy. Then Calverton Park officer Chris Robertson heard on the scanner that they needed a bolt cutter. He had them in his car and he told me today that he rushed here to cut that lock open and jumped in the water to help lift that boy to safety. That way EMS could do CPR here at the scene. And it is a tragic day for all involved in yesterday's rescue. I can only imagine how difficult this is for the family uh, to lose a loved one, um, to lose a child. You know, as a father, you know, that's something that, that really, really resonates with me. Uh, and also to lose a child at this time of year, you know, holidays when, you know, we're supposed to be celebrating family and things. And so, you know, we definitely want to send our, our, our condolences, you know, out to the family. And the rescue, the rescuers, those two officers that got in the water were then pulled out by other officers. They were taken to the hospital and treated and released. They are at home recovering tonight, I am told. And coming up for you all new on News 4 at 5 o'clock, the latest on the police investigation here on how the kids got inside this fence, which is totally wrapped around and was locked yesterday, and also what neighbors saw and heard yesterday afternoon. Reporting live in Ferguson tonight, Emily Pritchard, News 4.